What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to go over something that was brought up to me over the weekend, actually. Um, question was, do you really need certs to get a job in offensive security or even cybersecurity for that matter? I actually thought about this question, and you don't. Um, now, this is a gray area, mind you. However, depending on how the organization that you're trying to go into is structured, depending on if you're opening up your own LLC, S Corp, et cetera, that's obviously going to be different. You're going to need certain things that are, or that you are certified for compliance, PCI, DSS, SOC, FedRAMP, all that shit. That's, that's a whole different scenario, but you do need to be certified, especially if you're a one man LLC or a woman for that matter. Um, however, just for a generalized speaking, um, that's what we're going to go over today. Uh, that was actually something that brought up because I got my job without my OSCP um, into offensive security, pen testing, red teaming, even though it was on the rec, as well as my counterpart did. So for that being said, let's get into this video. Now, I'm going to speak on an offensive security side of things, since that's where I'm, I'm in. Uh, that's my realm. That's my um, area that I work in, offensive security, penetration testing, red team, and et cetera. Um, I can't technically speak on other things because I have never been employed or ran my own business or consulted on the side for any of those things. However, I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to speak on offensive security. That being said, uh, pretty much... Why I say you don't need it is number one, you could showcase your skills in offensive security. And a lot of people are doing this, by the way. They're all kind of not, I'm not going to say everyone's like jumping ship all of a sudden. However, I am doing this myself, hence being on YouTube. And that is a goal for down the line. Um, that being said, you're showcasing your skills, right? Doing hack the box live, um, creating tools to bypass EDR on YouTube and putting that stuff on LinkedIn, social media, Instagram, Facebook, what have you. TikTok is another big one. Um, and you see a lot of GRC personnel as well doing that stuff. However, doing that and showcasing your skills live or, or, or recorded, however you want to do it, that's going to catch the eyes of managers, senior managers, directors, CISOs, especially if you add the icing on the cake with that or in parallel with that, being networking, you're pretty much, I mean, your showcasing is pretty much your re resume and certifications, right? Um, especially if you're doing this on a consistent basis. Now, that being said, where I say the gray areas are, obviously, if you go to the government side of things, and I'm just speaking on America, you're going to need certain certifications that are mandatory. There's no ands, ifs, or buts around it. Um, I don't know if CEH is required. I hear it is, but I've never applied in cybersecurity or did cybersecurity for the government, let alone the military. I did not do IT or, or cyber in the military at all. Uh, it was completely different. I didn't even think about doing that, which is I was an idiot. I wish I could go back and slap myself. But that being said, I know Security Plus is one of them, and there's probably a couple others that I don't know about. Now, the, the gray area in the private sector is is yeah, there are some that, that like, especially if you go on LinkedIn, they're going to say preferred OSCP, preferred CRTO, preferred. Um, some of them still have CEH. I don't know why uh, for that matter, but you're mainly going to see preferred for, at least from what I've seen in my experience, OSCP and CRTO. That being said, CRTO is more of a specialty, red teaming, uh, more of C2 uh, command and control. However, OSCP is more of a broad, and that's pretty much the standard for today as far as offensive security pen testing. But if you're showcasing your skills consistently and you net plan or you network, you're pretty much golden. Uh, Tyler, those who watch, uh, I believe his last name is Ramsey, um, he actually says that, that, that pretty much you don't need certifications, and he's correct, 100% correct. You don't need certifications because he's consistently showcasing not only his skill set and his skills, but he's also managing and helping people out in the community in a Discord. Same thing with my friend InfoSec Pat. 
He does that and he showcases his skills. Now he does his more on a beginner friendly, more of helping out people trying to get into cyber, but he does have, have skills. I haven't really been involved. I mean, I'm part of his discord, but I haven't been involved and really went deep dive into his discord. So I don't know how far he goes into that, but he does showcase to an example, uh, you know, a certain skill set, especially on uh, offensive security and also with his background being in networking. And, and that's some of his earlier videos. And mind you, not only that, I don't know Tyler, like I never met him. Uh, I've seen him one time at DEF CON 32 when I was in line at the bread team, he was going into the main room. But I, uh, as far as InfoSec Pat, he knows how to fucking network. Um, and that's how he builds his rapport with relation, building relationships. And, you know, not only that, like he's on there on a consistent basis as well. He has his live show as well as Tyler does. Um, but InfoSec Pat, you know, he, he has that networking uh, gift, skill set, and he worked on that. Um, so that being said, you don't need it to that degree. And even if something is preferred or, or, or not preferred, I'm sorry, uh, recommended or, or a, a must, and LinkedIn, most of it say a must, quote unquote, that, that person, especially they know who these people are who are consistent on, on YouTube showcasing their skills, pretty much utilizing that as a resume that that's their stepping stone in um, that's going to be your stepping stone in so you don't need those certs now why am i getting certs um, i'm not nowhere near those two guys yet that is my goal to do this on a consistent basis and start going live um, you know once i get my whole setup done but i'm getting i'm getting certs i look at certs for me as a practical way is number one they're practical right i have to do it i have to be here i'm actually doing the actual job getting the actual skill set learning it's not a multiple choice exam uh like some of these like the ceh cissp i know that's a a, a great area of certification because that's more for CISO management level director level but that being said you know why i'm uh, the other reason why i'm doing those searches i want to learn i want to actually get the hands-on experience and i don't watch netflix and i don't watch i don't really watch tv the only thing i really watch i mean yeah i might been watching some shows here and there my i only watched five certain shows i barely found out about mr robot in december 2022 or january of 2023 i didn't even know that show existed until someone said it at work um so I, it's actually technically six shows that I will binge once in a while. Um, and then for those that know, I watch Kentucky football on Saturdays. That's it. I don't watch TV. I don't even have cable. All I have is internet. Um, so I'd rather do that, utilize my time and get ahead of the trends curves because an offensive security, I'm not talking down or other sectors of cyber or IT, but for me, I'd rather do the hands-on and I learn more with the practical stuff. And obviously that's, this is what I love, offensive security. So that's, that's the whole reason for, for that. And yeah, and say if they are mandatory sometime in the future, I already have them. I don't have to go back and, and rush and, oh, you got three months to do this or you got whatever, whatever to time frame. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I'd rather just get them, be done with them. I got them, keep going on and, and just maintain my skills, sharpen my sword when I need to. Um, however, back to, do you need certs? The main answer is no, you don't, unless you're going into the government for certain roles. Those are going to be obviously mandatory. That's a whole different sector. Private sector, you're not. Now, obviously, again, if you're going to open your own LLC, S Corp, one man, uh, one member, single member, or however you want to define that, you're going to need certain certifications or the, at least from the company standpoint of being PCI compliant, uh, FedRAMP, SOC 1, SOC 2, et cetera. That's a whole different ballgame. Um, and that's something I'm going to have to learn too currently uh, soon, uh, November, December, this time frame to get that up and running for my own thing on the side. However, just as an employee W-2, if you're, if you're consistent with your skill set, showcasing this on a daily basis and, and putting yourself out there, no one's perfect. Everyone makes mistakes, especially if you do it live. That's even better because it's more authentic. That actually happens in real engagements, real pen tests. Um, shit happens, right? And sometimes you have brain farts and you just like take an hour to find something that you know off the, the top of your head or the back of your, like the back of your hand. Sometimes those things do happen. Um, and it's good to showcase that because you're being authentic, real. That's, that's real life. It's not 
fake. It's not edited. It's not bullshit. It's not behind the scenes. It's all out there because that stuff does happen. It happens to me. I'm, um, you know. So that being said, as a standard private from the private sector, you don't need your certs. However, you better know your shit and be able and, and showcase them and put yourself out there, build your brand uh, on LinkedIn, YouTube. I have my my I, my um, Instagram, but I'm building that out secondary once I get these things built out and I'm just going to cut and dry and then put everything onto the Instagram. Uh, I feel YouTube's a lot better. It works better with LinkedIn. Um, I'm not a fan of TikTok. That's, that's not me. I'm going to concentrate more on YouTube, transition that into Instagram, and then obviously LinkedIn. Um, those are my three. Those are going to be my three um, main sources. Um, I do have a Facebook business page. Uh, just barely new. I only think I only have one or two things on there. But that being said, no, you don't need certs. Showcase your skills. And if you know how to hack, you know how to hack. I mean, that's just the bottom line. There's people that I know that have their OSCP and that got it like 2017. And, and these are personal friends that I know that they, you know, put their hands behind their head, feet on the desk and thought they could chill. Now they're left behind. Now they can't get a job because they can't answer certain questions or do play out certain scenarios or even better um, or not better that they can't do it, but even better today, if you're consistently practicing, um, nailing down your craft on Hack the Box, they give you these VMs to as part of as pretty much your interview and pretty much they go over your report um, and that's pretty much your interview. And then you might have one or one, one um, interview, maybe, maybe you don't need it. Sometimes they don't ask for it with the, senior manager, director, or VP, depending on how that organization is structured. And if they're going off of that personality feel if, if you're going to mesh or gel, gel pretty good with the team um, and see if it's a great fit for both ends. Uh, and that's pretty much your, your job interview, doing the actual job. It's pretty much showcasing your skills like you would do it on YouTube, doing hack the box, certain try hack knees, um, Pwn Labs, which I just got into speaking to Tyler, uh, his videos for the cloud since I've been talking about Cloud Reach I.O., I'm actually going to push Cloud Breach IO to the later part or Q2 of next year. Um, I'm actually signed up for the boot camps for the Palm Labs um, Azure in November boot camp. Going to take that cert. And then in December, their AWS cert. And I also got the membership for a year. So um, that being said, that's my goal, my new goal transition. Remember, you got to flow like water depending on how, how things move. Um, but I'm still going to get certs and I'm still going to showcase my skills. That's just me. Um, you could do one or the other, but I would say trends are going now. And if you want to stay not only consistent, but be accountable, put yourself out there. But it's probably going to be more of a guarantee, in my opinion, by you showcasing your skills consistently on YouTube, putting that on LinkedIn where people see you. You're probably going to have a better a better overall shot than having a cert. Not only that, especially if you add the network side of things, you're golden. You're going to be, um, you know, going to be, be asked and people are going to um, approach you to speak at certain conferences, be part of certain organizations, uh, you know, and you're going to be pretty much all over the place. And as long as you're consistent, you're authentic, you're honest, you're a good person, good morals, act accordingly, sky's the limit. Uh, I mean, that's just being honest. And that's pretty much where I want to go as well. However, I'm still going to do both. Um, I, that's just me. Uh, probably I'm old school, but I don't think you need both. But that I want to be both because I know my personality. If I also do the YouTube stuff consistently, I'm probably going to be at the bar and Hooters a little bit more. And I, I don't want that. I'd rather be working out more and also learning more things on the side. Split my time half and half and using that more responsibly, uh, if that makes sense. So that being said, that's the video. Um, I did order a new Wi-Fi pineapple, uh, the tactical, as they just got released. Uh, I think I said in one of my other videos that I'm going to start doing videos on that. Uh, should be here Wednesday. I'm going to shoot that video on how to configure it. I'm going to unbox it, configure it, and then also do Evil, Evil Portal. My goal for that is to do some kind of uh, a video series. Not sure how many videos, but at least three to five maybe. Um, and then because my goal is to get a Pelican case and built it out inside the Pelican case with GPS, have the antennas outside of the um, uh, Pel uh, Pelican case, uh, you know, with the antenna extenders. And that includes the 5G uh, kit. I think that's what it's called or the well, it comes with the tactical edition. Um, so that's 
and also the battery pack. I'm sorry, Add, adding the battery pack. Um, and uh, I think I said the GPS. So that's going to be part of a, a video series for Wi-Fi Pineapple. Someone said in the, in the comments to do playlists. I am going to do that. I'm going to start breaking that down uh, here shortly. Um, so that's it for the video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know um, if you think that you don't need certs or if you need them or if showcasing your skills on some platform, especially like YouTube uh, or Rumble for that matter, is good enough. And the networking side just adds a cherry on the top. That's it for this video. Uh, see you on the next one. Have a good day, everyone.